Today we are back to Brookhaven to make some characters from the amazing Digital Circus series created by Gusworks from Glitch Productions. What? Make sure you like and subscribe this video. Also, write Circus in the comments section if you want me to make more of these ID codes videos. Now we are ready to start our first character. For that, let's first deselect my dependent dad items, and once done, we can open the ID box and write code 1508 946 3323 to add this digital jester Pomni face to our avatar. Then, we can continue to introduce ID code 1509-677-2902 to place the top part of the Pomni outfit, followed by ID code 1508-119-7218 to add the matching bottom part. Then, we need to go to the color section and adjust our skin to white. Perfect! And to finish it up, let's open the accessories tab and search for some confused marks. Pick this one, and in here we have our Pomni avatar. He is the main protagonist of psychological black comedy series, The Amazing Digital Circus. Not much is currently known about her, other than she is a human who is trapped in the digital circus as a jester and that she is unable to remember her real name because of the effects of the VR headset he wore. Now, for our next character, let's deselect all the items and when done, let's include ID code 1510-517-7136 to place this digital doll rag at the face. Next, we can continue with ID code 1513-462. 8574 to add this rag at the top on our figure, followed by ID code 1513-463-9616 to get the matching bottom part. Looking good! Then, let's open the color palette and adjust our skin to this tan color one. And to finish her up, let's go to the accessories area and search for a blue skirt. Out of all the options that appear, pick this one. And here we have our Ragatha doll character. She resembles a rag doll with yarn-like red hair and is described as being the sweetest little optimist since she is positive and constantly happy even when she was stabbed in the head with a cleaver but simply was able to brush it off. For the next figure, after we deselect the head and the skirt, let's go to the ID box to start introducing code 1521-678-6111 and place this purple head of Jax the Bunny. Then, let's continue writing ID code 1513-405. 7044 to place this top part outfit on our figure, followed by ID code 1513-405-9457 to complete the bottom matching set. Next, let's go to color palette and adjust our skin to yellow, and once done it is time to go to the accessories section so that we can look for some sharp surprise mark, pick the left option, and once placed here we have our bunny jacks. But since the head seems to not match completely the tone of the outfit, let's deselect it, and then go back to the accessories area and look for a jacks bunny pick this head instead. And I think he looks much better. Our Jax is the tritagonist of the amazing Digital Circus Show. He is a tall and lean character resembling a light purple rabbit with long ears, yellow eyes, and yellow teeth usually seen in a smile, and there is no one in the circus likes Jax. We can even add ID code 1294-519-2637 to place this I tried pin in front of his body too. Or if you use code 1445-064, 2287 you can place instead one pin that says you did it. Cool! So you just have to keep the one you like most. Now, after deselecting these three items, we can do another figure by simply introducing ID code 1517-560-6568 to place this gangle face on our avatar. Well, this does not look like I expected so let's deselect it, and instead let's now write ID code 1508. 117-2721 to get this other digital sad tragedy circus mask on. Then, let's keep adding ID code 1527-423-8372 to place this top part of our gangle outfit, followed by ID code 1527-425-6333 to get the matching bottom part. We also need to write ID code 1523-607-9599 to place this gangle mask. And here we have our gangle figure. She is of the other main characters of the The Amazing Digital Circus Show. Her body is primarily made up of four ribbons, and he likes to draw, specifically anime. Perfect! Next, let's deselect the mask and once done, go back to the ID box to introduce code 1523-607-9599 to place this set of floating teeth cane face on our avatar with a black hat on the back and these googly blue and green eyeballs on it. Then, we can keep writing ID code 1488-792-5780 to place this top part of the outfit, followed by ID code 1488-792-8618 to add the matching bottom pants. And to finish it up, we also need to go to the accessories area and search for a distinguished walking cane, Pick the first one and here is our cane version. He is the main antagonist of the amazing Digital Circus and he is an artificial intelligence who acts the ringmaster of the titular circus. Along with Ragatha and Zoable, he is one of the three characters that have heterochromia. You can even use ID code 1256-493-5493 to place this black bow tie on him too to make the fit more realistic. 
And speaking of sewable, let's deselect all the items placed previously so that we can try to make it. On the ID box, we can include ID code 1516-832-5511 to place this pink digital Zobel triangle face on our avatar. Then, we can continue by writing ID code 1508-162-2902 to add this colorful top shirt, followed by ID code 1508-157. 3775 to get the matching colorful bottom pants on our figure. So cool! Then, let's go to the color section and change our skin color to pink and also on the face area just select and deselect any face to get this clean result of our Zobel, who is one of the main six protagonists in the amazing digital circus that is a mix match of incongruent shapes and body parts that are detachable. Zobel is also the first character in Glitch Productions to use they slash them pronouns. Cool, right? If you want you can still add ID code 1237726. 2073 to place this sparkling blue bow and then go to the accessories area and look for a pink shoulder wing and select the right one. What do you think? Now let's deselect these items. And once done, let's go to the ID box to write ID code 1521-176-1166 to place this brown kinder head on our avatar from the amazing digital circus show. Then, we also need to include ID code 1513-997-6499 to add his purple shirt, followed with ID code 1514-013. 1879 to get the matching bottom part to complete our character's robe as well. Then, on the color section we can adjust our skin to white and when done we can go back to the ID box and add ID code 1502-134-0159 to place this white fox fluff on our character's neck, followed by ID code 665-375-8716 to get more fluffiness effect. When done, go to the accessories area to look for some question marks and select this option. Let's also search for some birthday confetti. Get this one and lastly let's also look for an anime worried sweat like this one, and for a pastel balloon aura like this one. Great! And here we have our Kinder. It is a king chess piece with unsymmetrical bloodshot blue eyes and floating white hands. He wears a purple king's robe with white UR around the neck. In the show he is often seen hiding in a pillow fort as a means to protect himself. If you want deselect our Kinder head and introduce ID code 1511-162. For 328 instead to get another version of his face that is shorter and I think might be a better fit. What do you think? From here we have one more character that I want to try making. Let's deselect all our items. When done, on the ID box we need to introduce code 1258-814-1124 to place this black cone head on our avatar, followed by ID code 541-056-6530 to add this black void shirt along with ID code 796-371. 5871 to get the matching bottom black pants. When done, let's open the accessories tab so that we can search for Angry Eye Swarm, pick the pink version and also let's look for some menacing eyes, like this option, perfect. Then let's go to the color palette to adjust our skin tone to black and next, on the face area we also need to pick this smiling option so that, after, we can write ID code 1275-985-6906 to place these silver galaxy eyes on our character as well. Go back to the accessory area and search for some black fire aura. Get this option and also look for some black feigning aura like this one. And here we have our Kofmo who is an abstracted antagonist from the Glitch Productions show The Amazing Digital Circus. If you want you can also try ID code 1523-085-1405 to place this other head on him and you can also introduce ID code 1513-436-7353 to change his top into this Kofmo abstracted top along with ID code 1513-437-6155 to get the matching pants. Wait! I think that if we deselect all the items we can do something totally different. So let's go to the ID box and write instead ID code 1518-590 for 422 to add this digital Kofmo clown face with a yellow hat. Then, if we continue writing ID code 1528-024-3828 we can add this clown yellow pants part, followed by ID code 1528-022-6588 to place the matching yellow top shirt portion and then let's adjust our skin color to white. Great! And here is another type of Kofmo clown who is a jokester before becoming abstracted prior to the pilot where he served as the main antagonist. Well, tell me which figure was your favorite. Don't forget to like and subscribe and bye for now.